and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of Cider Pop Central. This time round, we are back once again with the kings of Cider Pops. Yes, it is Brothers Cider Pop Company. And this one is, well, I have a feeling this is probably going to be uh, a really sweet affair, even though Brothers Ciders are mainly sweet, but this one might be even sweeter than normal. Today, I am trying out a bottle of their Cherry Bakewell English Cider Pop. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, cherry bakewells are, well, bakewell tarts are normally really sweet, so this should be incredibly sweet, but we shall see. This uh, particular iteration comes in 500ml bottles and 4% ABV as per usual. Uh, so this is a cherry bakewell flavour cider. That's all it says. Made by four brothers in Somerset, making distinctive ciders that are lovingly crafted and expertly made. I mean... It can't be that hard to add syrups in, can it? But there we go. Cherry bake oil is a delicious mix of fruity cherry flavours with a hint of frangipan. Well, that is what cherry bake oils are. Fruit ciders that are totally unexpected. You can say that again. Serve chilled over rice. No thanks. Gluten-free and suitable for vegans. Well, at least that's something, I guess. So, yeah, suitable for your older vegans out there. But, I mean, I have a feeling I know exactly what this is going to smell and taste like. Probably glacé cherries, really sweet. But, hey... Stranger things have happened, so let's just see how this one stacks up to the rest of their uh, the rest of their range. Now, admittedly, I have had a couple from um, Brothers, and they've been not too bad. But well, I don't know. Let's just go in unbiased, and let's just see. And that is exactly how I thought it was going to smell: glassy cherries, sweet icing, marzipan. You know. The usual sort of stuff you expect with a cherry Bakewell flavoured thing. I mean, I don't know how the um, people at Bakewell are going to uh, take this, but you, you never know. They might uh, they might really like it. But uh, there you go, a bit of a dirty glass again. Never mind. Anyway, well, not dried anyway. But yeah, there we go. Uh, lightly carbonated, and well, I have a feeling that they have changed things slightly because I remember back in the old days, Brother Ciders used to be really luminescent, and you know neon coloured and everything but recently they've been quite subdued in their colours so this one doesn't actually look too bad it's got a nicer light ruby sort of tint to it kind of almost looks a little bit like a rosé cider rather than uh you know a cherry bakewell cider pop or something but it's not about the looks it's about what it smells and tastes like so let's see i mean yeah that's that's exactly what you would expect it to smell like it's a cherry bakewell cider pop and it smells of Bakewell tarts, glassy cherries, like a cherry, yeah, cherry jam, yeah, just a um, bit, yeah, marzipan, obviously no, like, no indication that this, this is actually uh, anything to do with apples at all, but you kind of expect that with uh, Brothers now, don't you, so, uh, oh well, let's uh, see if it tastes as sweet as it smells, cheers everyone, yeah, well, is this uh, liquid cherry bakewell, let's find out. Yeah, it basically is. It's it's basically a Bakewell tart that's just been liquidised. Yeah, yeah. I mean that is that is ridiculously sweet. Really, really sweet. That's up there with one of the sweetest cider pops that I've had. Definitely. Um, the marzipan strangely enough, is just coming through on the finish. It's not as it's like in the initial taste or in your mouth or anything. It's the finish that's got that sort of marzipan-esque taste to it. Everything else is about those really sweet um, cherry cordial, glacé cherry sort of taste to it. Now, I do have a feeling that they have changed things slightly, as I said earlier, because... The bodies as well, they used to be really thick, syrupy, almost like gelatinous in their texture, but the last few I've done, the bodies haven't actually been that bad. Yes, you are still getting the um, like the cloying, really sweet sensation at the back of the throat from the sugar that's added into it, but I have a feeling they don't use as much syrup anymore because it's not as thick. It's sort of medium-bodied, but it's 
it's still got that slight sugariness to it, if you know what I mean. So I, th I do feel that things have changed slightly, but the fact that they don't, you know, list ingredients or anything like that, it's really hard to say, you know, exactly what goes into this sort of stuff. But, you know, considering the fact that, you know, English ciders only have to have a minimum of 35% um, apple juice in them, uh, that just, you know, and, there, and could be anything else. The rest of it could be anything else. So, yeah, probably one or two apples have gone into this to class it as a, as a cider. But aside from that, that's pretty much it. So um, in terms of taste sniffing in regards to the other the other bits, that, the other cider pops in their range, this one is all right. It's it's passable. It's not hideous in any in any resorts. Um, and if you do sort of like your cider pops and everything, then I would imagine this is probably one that's going to cater to you quite well because cherry is sort of a, a common a slightly common flavor that you get inside the pops not as uh, common as say like strawberry or you know strawberry and lime and things like that or mixed berries but i'd say that's just on the next tier down but anyway i'm starting to ramble on a bit so let's get a final taste before a final verdict yeah i mean there's not really much else I can really say about this. You know, it's, it's a cherry bake or cider pop and it tastes like a cherry bake. Well, it does what it says on the tin or the bottle in this case. Uh, these are frequenters of uh, B&M stores now. I got this, uh, well, actually Home Bargains. Actually, it's both B&M and, and Home Bargains. I think I got this for like 149 a bottle, which I suppose for the price point isn't too bad. Would I go out and get it again? Nah, probably not. And uh, in regard to the other ranges that I've tried of Brothers, it sort of rests in the middle of them. It is ridiculously sweet, as I've already said, but you get what you buy, I guess. You know, it's a cherry flavoured cider pop. I've had worse, I've had better. Uh, so in that respect, let me just uh, let me just get the chalk out. But yeah, for a final verdict, I'm gonna go and give Brothers Cherry Bakewell Cider Pop a five out of 10. Just completely middle of the road, sets out what it wants to do and does it yeah, reasonably well. Um, yeah, it's not the worst cider pop I've ever tasted. It's certainly not uh, one of the best ones that still was go goes to um, Elska Ciders, um, Elska Cider Pops that you get in Aldi, which there are a few new flavours out there that I'm going to um, try uh, try and get a hold of. But yeah, if you've uh, been even remotely interested in this or uh, you like your cider pops like this, then yeah, I'd say give it a go. You'll probably like it, especially if you like cherry flavoured things. Um, I mean, everyone else is probably just going to, you know, avoid this with a 100 foot barge pole. But, you know, it is what it is. You see the name Brothers, you know what to expect from now, I'm sure. Anyway, that's another edition of Cider Pop Central for you guys. Hope you liked it. And I'll be back with another delicious and tasty cider review very soon. Until then, it's the weekend once again. So whatever you're doing, I hope you have a good one. And I'll see you on the next vid. Cheers. Cheers.